Yeah. I um, drink a lot of coffee. What did you do today? Um, not much. <laughs> not much. Um, what did I do? Oh, I had I had some Baileys in my coffee. <laughs> um, it was a bit of a late night. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, got everybody home safe. That's good. And awesome. uh, yeah, and then I, I was just yeah, I went and had a breakfast sandwich and hung out and dropped a friend off and, and came to the meeting. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Much. <laughs> Cozy. Hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, what we were talking about before. Um, what was your What was your spot on the wheel again? I almost I forget again. I think it was services. <laughs> services. Marketing and services. What do you think about that, bro? Oh, I like it. I like it because services can be really anything. <laughs> but it can be everything. It's a direct connection to the customer, a direct connection to what, whatever you're being, what the system is obviously their function for. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how do we want to use the, the second part of this meeting? Um, well, we left off at uh, Greg telling something Right, and he's not back. <laughs> he was right in the middle of it. <laughs> he was right in the middle of it. It was great. And, um, well, maybe if I could say something about it before he, he shows up, if he, like he has a sort of a very in-depth li uh, library idea of how to organize ideas. Mm. And he has somehow, he's, he's got the idea of the 144 people and that you sort of take a place and it's so the shared knowledge community could be the same as, as his connection to this library. And he has put, put me forward as the first person in, you know, I, I could just see it's like Indiana Jones with the, the traps and things, you know, send sweep in first, he'll, he'll get the first uh, spear in the head. <laughs> and then the rest of you can come into the library as, as it gets softened up. <laughs> so you're the first well, so anyway, but he has this very, uh, like his, the main thing seems to be free space. It's kind of like the dream space I've been playing with, but I think a little bit different. It could be a combination with the community space, but it's, it's a, a fourth dimensional 4D free space where there's like an equal playing field and that's where creative ideas really get shared. And so he has this idea for sort of online library, which is, it's a very interesting one. And it just seems like a, a sort of a fit between our particular work. And I think that's what we're looking for is like, how do we fit our particular ideal job or our gifts with each other to sort of help everyone get what they want to bring into the world? Why don't you tell us something about your game, Nova? Yeah, I want to know about that. Sure. Um, so, uh, basically, it is a uh, massive online strategy game um, modeled after a few games I like to play back in the day. And it just kind of, uh, I'm actually taking on the project in order to just learn skills, uh, kind of broaden my programming and graphical and interface creating skills. Um, yeah, it started out as a hobby, but basically it's almost finished now and it's in beta testing. And yeah, I hope to possibly get some uh, small amount of passive income from it and just put it on my portfolio uh, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's not supposed to be a revolutionary idea or necessarily uh, moving the world forward in any way. Um, but hopefully, uh, if it's minorly successful, uh, it'll give me a bit of space so that I can work on things like that because that is actually for sure my my passion not making games uh necessarily but uh making things that i i hope will move the world forward or uh give people the ability to do things that they couldn't do before through technology because it's just something that uh 
I'm good at. But the game itself is, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a means to bigger means for me. And it's called uh, gameofplanets.com if you're interested. We're interested. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sounds awesome. You're smart. I was wondering maybe if Jordan, you might add in what I was seeing was Jordan has a sort of media game like enterprise that has no programming behind it. I've got this kind of like business like programming with no programming and you've got the programming skills and Lara wants to bring it into the world. Uh, Brooke could be the interface with first contact and Chinoa. I wouldn't want to say anything about what she will do. She, she'll do what she wants to do. So <laughs> I don't want to get into that trap. Anyway, uh, Jordan, you want to kind of maybe add in your, your piece of the puzzle a little bit? Um, yeah, I'm really interested in, um, you know, I meet people and a lot of, like, I, I want to cut right to the truth of what we're connecting on in a in very intimate, open, honest way. And, uh, I notice when I meet people one on one, like I can just kind of see like where we hit like walls of security or boundaries or fears, and there's just this stop where it's just like we can't, you know, if that wasn't there, we could motion faster, but that's there. And I'm just understanding that all the kind of like the the blocks, the maze like block system that's set up in kind of our our. Um, Mm. I find there's a lot of bullshit in the way of what we're trying to connect to in our lives and I'm finding that a lot of people have their own little separate sections of bullshit and uh, we got to move through and we want to just walk, but we have to like stop and go around our bullshit. And sometimes the bullshit is so huge that we can't actually get to what we're wanting to get to. And we just constantly are just moving around bullshit. And so I want to create like a way that we can take our collective bullshit and like basically make that the game, you know, make it a game of like processing through doing emotional work coming into a place of you know in in synergy with teams of how we can say like yeah what is it that we want to create in our lives what is it that's stopping us you know what is it like where are our blocks and then create basically like a show a game some type of media enterprise where we can create content basically as like a, a documentation of us processing through that fear and those blocks together, you know, unified in community, having the strength of community going through, you know, facing what we're so afraid of, you know, what's stopping us and, and basically busting through those blocks in an epic like media game, you know, through and, and documenting the process and being able to share that process of, you know, look how I conquered these fears. Look how I can like, you know, be myself so much more because of, and I have this like epic, like, you know, document TV show about like, you know, the process that we went on, you know? Mm. Mm. I like that, that, that's a, uh, that ties into a lot of things I want to do too. And with the very secret plan, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I think it all ties in perfectly for sure. Because it's it is that's what it is. It's like the integration. It's like what it is. What is actually happening? What are the blocks that come up? How to get through them, and and to see it in real time is really when you really get to to learn it and integrate it. And it would be really cool to show the public how it's done. That's what I. And then really have it like a yeah like an interactive like a reality show in a way, but moving through our reality needs of what actually comes up when we start shifting energy and moving things and and where are we falling flat with our bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And I also, I, I also think it's a good way to present it in a 
um, with creativity and with um, with humor, because that's like the best way for people to to learn is when they're having fun and they're enjoying it and they're like, you know, oh my God, this is like really actually quite funny. Oh my God, I do this all the time. You know, when people laugh, at, when you laugh at yourself, you're like, it's like the best way to move through these kind of blocks, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that actually with, with Donald Trump, just to go like, hit that, that political page in terms of news reporting, I think one of the coolest things that I've noticed in the whole era is that news anchors have a brand new huge new palette of uh you know emotion of looking at world leaders as, and and world like issues as totally ridiculous you know and people are like laughing at you know the leader of this the of the free world basically as it were and uh and but it's just like to see these people that are normally so straightforward and like this is the news and just to they're just like laughing at the the state of things, you know. I think that introduced a really special new palette of how information is mm -hmm. being passed in, in a mainstream way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, what a show! What a show! <laughs> Brooke, Brooke, I'm curious as to uh, if you're going to create some kind of service just out of the blue as your ideal. What would you like to do? Like any kind of service? Yeah. Like. Hmm. I don't know. Um, kind of what Jordan and Lara were saying is like a way that people can move through things in their body, but with humor and a way of lightness, like bringing lightness into the world so we can all feel joy in the collective level. Some, something around that. Mm. And probably to do with plant medicine. Do you know what? What's the question? I, I was just wondering if there's something you wanted to add at this particular point that. Uh... Um, not at this point, no. <laughs> I mean, I like how everyone's coming in from a different, um, different ideas. I still, like, I'm really solid on the manifestation of whatever Noah is doing and how we can all support him to get that to get that up, up and running in an optimal way and curious about how how that can be customized like what would be the process of customizing that that you know customizing um uh whatever is being developed i mean for example with my line of work I might want a different set of cards. I might want a whole different set of questions. I want, I might want sort of very specific kinds of maybe five or 10 different maps specifically to my um, field of work. And I'm just wondering, um, so uh, maybe that's where I'm coming from because I wanna see the practicality of, of it. And, um, because right now I'm sort of in a bunch of different um, different ideas about what I want to do. I've started running a podcast, and the podcast is is great, but I haven't um, I haven't fully come into what it is going to be. And I want to do some uh, some spoken word uh, production, and I want to bring some of my some of my teachings out. So I'm kind of have these three different. Um, avenues of things that I want to do so I'm just wondering are each of us going to have to work with Nova individually specifically like when somebody comes up and says hey I want to customize this um, are you going to create a, a dollar figure about how much that will cost and um, and then a process for the customization I'm kind of imagining um, uh, but I think first of all the prototype 
you know, getting through the prototype if maps, I don't know if you guys are gonna be putting maps into this prototype that we can kind of sift through and play around with. Um, and also the center, the different wheels, like, you know, how to use the five spaces, how to use all the different, um, different wheels that you have. So um, I guess maybe I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but that's kind of where my mind is at. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that's maybe an individual thing instead of a team thing um, in terms of the team. You know, uh, I don't know, I can offer, like maybe I can offer um, consultation for each individual of how, of, of what they can actually, how they can take their ideas and put them into manifestation. I mean, isn't that the whole purpose here is to take our ideas that are maybe ideals and then put them into manifestation. What do you think, Elijah? I like it. I mean, it, it fits into what Greg's talking about in terms of having a, a library of ideas. And I think that the value systems that come through the inflow matrix are more the ideals. And so I think when you bring together ideas and ideals, it's, it's uh, sort of from the invisible to the visible to, uh, I don't know, it, it's just, and you know, it's interesting, the six, having six here, it just feels different than, every number feels different, but this configuration on the screen looks pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause it's, it's sort of balanced, I guess, but it's also the synergy wheel of six. And I get the feeling Greg is his own, Greg is another team. He already has another team that's, that's he's creating. So I, I'm just wondering if maybe the starter team is a 16. Maybe you don't go straight to nine. Um, I don't know. I mean, the numbers. You really... with the other oh, you have to think about what... I was going to say, you have to think about what those other people could potentially bring to this group table, like Ramayan and Samir. Um, because if this is the group that's supporting the ideas and ideals to manifest the whole prototype, um, their input could be really valuable. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's, yeah, that's about finding each one of our roles and in different times. I think it's not necessary that all of us at the same time always be together every time as a nine group, but as, mm as like what we're working on gets done or what we're what we're moving towards step by step I guess mm -hmm. could yeah because yeah do you know does do you know where Lori is today or is she she said her she was with her dad at a home and something had gone wrong or something so she was with her dad yeah. and, uh, and Zamir had a uh, the most <laughs> He put this link saying, if you want the greatest time of your life online, this is the link to it. You should get everyone in the, in the, in the group to come into here. Okay. <laughs> and it's funny because Zamir's at operations, so he's already, he's already conducting the team to go do operations. And, yeah. And, <laughs> and then, and then, side plus. <laughs> individually, for sure. <laughs> and then if you saw in the first link that I sent to you, because I screwed it up. I sent everyone a link to what he was talking about. So he sort of controlled my mind and got me to do it anyway. And so that's, uh, maybe that's power of the synergy, right? You never know when you get to take over someone else's mind to do something you want. <laughs> I mean, I'm really easy. You can just come in here and just take over. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, that's cool. I think, yeah, this is, it feels really good. Um, so does everybody have a card set? I do. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't have a card set? So I don't have live, yeah, just in the digital. Okay, so, so then, okay, so everyone will get a Christmas gift and everyone will get a, a card set. Um, but it's 400 cards and you got... <laughs> You have to cut them out yourself. And you got to cut them out. Yeah. I got a card cutter. 
So yeah. doing, yeah, I it can work. help. Does it work? Uh, well, I ended up buying another one just for circles. So um, yeah, it works. They're, they're circles. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> but I, it'd be nice if I had like, yeah, just to, yeah, I need to configure it a little bit better so I can do a whole bunch at the same time. But yeah, so I might be able to help with getting that out to everybody. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because oh. I was just thinking like maybe a first step in terms of the project level could be getting the original, the divination tool that, you know, we're very close on. It has a lot of leverage points. Um, mm -hmm if we sort of committed as a team to bring that into the world and figure out how to make that work, then that could be the first tangible real project because we're very close on that one. And then that could help to get all the other things we wanted to get done. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. Can you repeat what we're supposed to do? Well, not what you're supposed to do, but just looking like, why is this team here? And it's kind of like, maybe we go from project to product to project, you know, you, you go from thing to thing to thing, but your next step, is like getting this uh, software, the divination software up and out and maybe on eat everyone here on their own website. So we just kind of like everyone has a chance to utilize it differently. And through that process, we'll really figure out how to custom design it, which will be probably a, a revenue producing software side to this. Mm -hmm. I think uh, also it, it sounds like we are pretty much at the stage or you're at the stage where you can <clears throat> put out a, a little box, like a physical box that comes with the 400 cards, an instruction thing, a board perhaps, uh, and sell it as a game, sell it as a tool, whatever. Yeah. Have that ready to go on Planetary Guardian's website for $30, something like that. Uh, it seems like we must be close to that. and. That'd be direct income for the group or for the for the projects. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's that's one of my main goals to get that. I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> I have bought over time different briefcases to do this <laughs> and um and have been working on yeah making yeah helping Elijah make a new paradigm toolkit for everybody oh. and to, to have that out to to sell. Mm. And then maybe the actual like briefcase with the things and then each individual card set and maps can be purchased. Um, yeah, to have a, a line of project uh, products is, yeah, is kind of creating the brand, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. I think we're almost there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like the, the new paradigm toolkit is like the bigger envelope that has card sets, maps, game boards, processes, and software. Mm -hmm. There's five categories. So the, the new paradigm toolkit is the bigger envelope and then the inflammation is the operating system that connects it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone got the shaker? Yeah. Yeah. Just at this moment, I'll just shake this bag. Yeah, No, then there's the, and then you need the three D glasses. Hmm. Like, uh, guardian glasses. Yeah, at some point you need these two things all the time. That's important part of the plan. <laughs> Shakers, glasses, maps. Hi. Randy, everyone, I was thinking, what about next time we come in costumes? <laughs> I would like that. I would like that a lot. <laughs> and, and you got to start using backgrounds, and then you got to come up with a specific background that fits your costume. Oh, really? <laughs> well, then I shouldn't have changed my background when I entered. <laughs> okay, so there's another goal for next week. Hey, yeah, there you go. We got to look <laughs> cosmic. <laughs> no, you don't look too excited. Me? <laughs> Nova.
Uh, uh, yeah, I can bring a costume in a background. That's fine. I'm just thinking about... Uh, Whatever, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just thinking about a dream I had last night. Wow. What happened in your dream? Um... I guess a lot of different things. Um, yeah, it, it more just reminds me of the time that we're in and, and kind of like, yeah, it, I mean, it, 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 there was a lot of uh, analysis of the world in my dream, I suppose, and like what's happening and where we need to go and how we're gonna get there. And, mm. Yeah, like there's a there's an old concept, uh, like people know people most people know at least in our our circles, you know the word Illuminati and what that means, mm. but uh, actually most people don't really know what Illuminari is, Illuminari. and yeah, and that's kind of I think where we're coming from, like the Illuminati is at least in one definition a large uh, infrastructure pyramid system of uh, an organized minority controlling a disorganized majority. You know, they're all uh, integrated. They're all friends, family, uh, heavily connected with each other, heavily disconnected from the world. Uh, and it's a pyramid system of control where the Illuminari is actually an emerging system of our time based, you know, perhaps on the ages that we're in, uh, where it's not connected. It's these people are, are not aware that they're part of this growing perhaps upside down pyramid, you could say. Uh, and as the old system is disintegrating, the new system is, is emerging, uh, like an emergent property of, of nature or humanity itself. And uh, my dream touched on the Renaissance and uh, I had someone look that up for me and what, the, what does that really mean? It's a French word that means rebirth and uh, revitalization. And you know what was being reborn, what was being revitalized, and it was something called humanism, which puts human consciousness and human needs, human uh, human life, kind of at the focus of things. You know, currently, if you if you take a look at our systems that have been around for a while, that we're living under, or living within, or living with, is you know the system is based on power and greed and money and that's how everything functions you know we have the technology as a species to feed everyone to you know solve our social problems to really upgrade our society and our species and live in harmony with nature even with technology on our side and i think the majority of people do want that but of course the systems are not built for that they're not uh incentivized or synthesized for that however you say that word and yeah it's just my dream kind of touched on those things and reminded me that you know like there's six of us there's 10 of us there's 144 of us we're coming together we don't know each other we don't even know our purpose and this is kind of a, a metaphor for the illuminari and the awakening period of a new system a new social gathering a movement perhaps a second renaissance that we're experiencing building living through realizing and i think that's subconsciously why we're all here in this meeting just kind of wondering what we can do where we're going you know how can we help and i think it's just it's interesting to recognize that or I recognize that at least is I think that's what's happening. And we're just not just a piece of the puzzle, but we're creating the puzzle from the pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like, yeah, that totally resonates with me too. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have three and a half minutes just so we don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we want to leave it with uh, with three and a half minutes to go? Uh, I'm thinking that the meeting will end at the end of it, unless you want to start again. Um, 
but I'm just thinking maybe a, a next something that everyone can do. Well, I'm going to work on some card sets for people. And then I was thinking if you could send everyone that, and it'd be nice to see everybody's gifts in the uh, communication spaces. Like, yeah. And, yeah, especially if, yeah, Shanoa, if you can look at that, then you'll, that's where your ideals will come from, I think, like mm -hmm. a, a little birth out of that, you being able to like see it because you're, you're cool in the manifestation, you're like, mm. Got that held down, so mm -hmm. I think that would be great. Um, yeah, and if everyone can write their gifts, their five gifts, and put that in the in the map, I think that that would be a cool. So, thing. is there five gifts for each space, or one gift for each of the five spaces? One okay. gift for each. You could do one both. You could be yeah. like at one level, it's five, and then each contractile into. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So that's one part. And then um, you also mentioned that everybody should kind of think about how like a website could become customized for for you. Yeah. Um, specifically. Um, and then we all need to have costumes and backgrounds next time, I guess, too. <laughs> and so we're going to meet again at, at uh, Sunday at four. Is that still okay for everybody? Is that good? Okay. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, everyone, for coming. It's been wonderful to have everybody and to uh, get to the next step. Way, <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all very much on, on a good page together. For sure, making um, yeah, creating the puzzle, mm -hmm. like Nova said, right? I like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to check out. Yeah, we're going to check out the game of planets too. Check oh yeah, that's it. Game of planets. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Yeah. Nice to see you all. Have a good day. See you when you're older. <laughs>